Hello YouTubers, here I am with a brand new toy, the electric T4 boys, T4B, Toys for Boys here in Calgary, electric power. See, I'm going to be using this guy here, it comes, you can come on the side, on the other side, yeah, you can put this one of course here. But I'm gonna be using this one for now because it's more stable. It's quite easy to use. Put pressure here, lift it this portion of it, and that's it. That's it. So mainly I bought it because of the, the look. It has a really nice look. European retro look kind of Vespa style. I removed these four screws here so this thing comes out. So it's pretty deep here and you can record now inside of it there are five batteries LED uh, LED lead acid one two three four five five times twelve is a 60 volts nominally and it comes of course comes with a charger charger is all the data of the charger okay Hmm. Good. So I'm gonna plug it in. And green light is supposed to come on here. Charging indicator. Open this thingy here. Ah, it has, goes like this. And immediately starts charging indication, battery maintenance while charging. Fan blows because I think uh, the charging current is about 3 amps. Just gonna check quickly the voltage. It's really nice, easy approach. So you plug plus into plus, minus and minus, on, all collected in series. Just you can go and uh, check the voltage. Now uh, 71.9, 72 volts. So 20 kilometers I already did on it. So 72.3, 72.5, 73.6, it's pretty accurate, right? And also you can check each individual cell, like this one, and this one is 14.7 this one and this one it's 4.1477 pretty nice pretty accurate pretty nice we're not gonna charge it all the way and plus they say uh, it, this thing should be unplugged when charging yep we're gonna put this seat back before that, just wanna, yeah, I wanna come from this side, if you can, record the da data of the brushless, <laughs> really nasty. controller for brushless motor, and all the, yeah, that's good, and this thing, that's, uh, if you wanna put it down in the basement or in garage for longer, then of course you shut it, shut it completely. Put it back, oh, it goes this way. So it's pretty deep, right? If you want to cut this portion, you can upgrade. Battery is up to here. <laughs> we just switched the LED. So, LED, that uh, acid. Can you come from this side, just record this thing? See how it's protected? Yeah. You put it back. All nice. I'm gonna put it back, make sure that it fits nicely, snugly. Put all these four screws here. One, two, three, four. One here, one here. And these two here. While I'm doing this. You can record some details. Nice about the, the bike, electric scooter. I 
and tight. Nice and tight. Good. All four screws almost back. Okay. It's going on. Okay, yes you can. You can go outside and play. You can play. Just wait a little bit. Back is recording something. Okay, just wait. You're gonna call it. Just wait a little bit, okay? You can stay here. So for easy access, you can go like this here. Look! We can put it here. And that's it. Yeah. So you still have some access here. And it's kind of locked. Actually, it is good lock. So you have to go like this and press a little bit to the left to engage. So nice. Access to the everything nice and tight. Good. Also, this is also a good feature. Comes with a cover when it's raining, if you want to use it. Comes with a lock. And I had to buy this DOT. I think it's American standard, but it's okay here in Canada. It has a nice uh, sunglasses features. <laughs> I really like it. So put it inside and everything locks nicely. Like that. I want to record this. This is very important actually. Yeah, I can go down if you want and just record that portion. It says, is Canadian allowed on the street because it's power assisted bike. And that's the reason I put these guys here. I put these guys here, see? And then you can use it to pedal it. back so the thing is has to be in horizontal if it's like this then any left or right turn and then you're gonna be in big trouble yeah it also has some anti-theft features as usually you can, you can. You can lock this one if you press you kind of lock it but it's gonna be locked right locked now so you cannot roll it because it's gonna make a circle so you have to insert the key in order to unlock it. Every motorcycle have that more or less but this one has another special features too. You can lock it here with a special key. You can lock actually the tire from rotating the wheel. Plus I don't need to mention this well this is like 95 kilograms so a little bit lighter than me. I'm 250 something and this thing is like a, a 95 kilograms, so 210 pounds heavy. So it's really, really hard to lift it and try to steal it. So we can try it like this, not in the... Okay guys, can you move a little bit please? Now I'm gonna start the engine. Now it's gonna be like a lot of dust, a lot of smoke, a lot of vibration, boom, 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 boom. Yes or no? No. <laughs> you can record this. It has two. So it has two speed, like 65 volt. Battery capacity. Don't touch anything, see? It has 42, but actually when you sit on it, it's like about 32, 33, depending on your weight. And it has a special other switch here. This switch goes up to 60. Actually, I did ride it. You can record. Yeah, there is a slight wobble on the on the on the wheel, but that's okay. And of course, every time when you brake, every time when you brake, there is a power cut to the edge. But this is most important, right? Police doesn't know how fast it goes. It's 500 watt. It's Canadian law, it has a light, you can record light from the 
from the front if you want. Has uh, turn signals, really, really cool. Turn signals, left, right. Has a position light, short. Position light. And it has brake light, has brake light, everything. First, first uh, brake is a uh, front brake. Is a hydraulic. It's really nice. But the the back one is mechanical. This is still good. Like if you just drive, it's good. Brakes nicely, and it's very quiet. So we just lift it like this, and that's about it. I would like to try it, but not in the house, right? But it's, <laughs> it's very nice. It is capable of doing like really, really nice. You can go from the other side and try to record. It's not enough space in the in the living room, of course, but I just like it. I like it. Bills. Heavy, it is heavy, it's like a real bike, and if you want to use it, you can always use it as, we have to sit a little bit back, actually I'm going to turn it off right now, just safety features, and then drive it, <laughs> of course it's awkward, and this rotates when you go back, these things they rotate, they hit you into the knee and elbows and uh, four shins, heads, I'm just joking. Yeah, it has two, right one, left one. <laughs> That's really nice, I like it. I like it a lot. Officially, it can go over like 50 clicks, uh, 49, 40, 50 kilometers. But if you're a reasonable driver, if you don't drive it too fast, and common sense, use a like, helmet like it's needed by the law, like power assisted with power bikes here in Alberta, you should, I shouldn't be having problems. It has mirrors, has light, has everything. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like that shiny stuff. It's really something. <laughs> Did you record it from the back? I really like it. I'm gonna go outside and try it. Maybe not today, but I just love it. And uh, according to the paper, it has. It can reach up to like a. 40 to 60, depending on the weight or incline on the road, can go uh, 40 to 60 kilometers far on one charge. And the battery is probably like 300 times charging, so it's not much, but still, still nice. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.